My name is Tyler Johnston, and I'm an artist uh, living and working in the Caribbean and the United States. Um, I'm a Bahamian American, so I have a dual nationality of the United States and the Bahamas, and I'm very honored and excited to have a piece in Imago Mundi, uh, sponsored by Benetton. Um, it was two years ago when I was living and working in Nassau that the director of the National Art Gallery of the Bahamas, Amanda Coulson, came to me and a bunch of other artists and asked if we'd like to participate and gave us the canvas. It was a fun, exciting thing. And I did the piece rather quickly. I had um, uh, a piece of uh, bank statement. And um, I'd been listening to this song by Thievery Corporation called The Richest Man in Babylon. And uh, it was sort of a, uh, it, it spoke of uh, global politics and banking and power structures. And being in the Bahamas, it's an offshore banking center. And there was some turmoil going on in the economy then. We're, we're dependent on tourism. But banking was a big sector and it's sort of faltering off the Bahamas. So I did this piece where I wrapped, I drew on and, and, and doodled on this uh, bank statement. Uh, and then I glued, I wrapped that on the canvas and I glued pieces of native corn that I had grown on my farm in the Bahamas. So it was organic uh, corn, dry. I glued that on the bank statement uh, with three matches. Now there's an expression in the Caribbean uh, called throw corn. So if you tell someone to throw corn, it could be like throw money down, you know, uh, or you, it could be telling someone that they're not perhaps being truthful. You could say, hey, go throw corn. Or, hey, let's spend some money tonight and throw corn. So that was really speaking of the piece, The Richest Man in Babylon was speaking of the dichotomy between uh, uh, wealth stratification and um, what, what is uh, value. A, a piece of corn that you can grow and eat, that's very valuable to you, but also the dichotomy of a bank statement, which is this ethereal, complex idea of, of conceptual idea of money. So that's what the piece was about.